Hey guys, Matt Sias here, and today I am reacting to episode 2 of Flavor 7 of the Ruby. Uh, a new approach, so I'm curious that we might be getting the new outfits appearing in this episode. So let's hop right in and find out. That felt long, that opening. <laughs> that feels like the longest opening we've had for uh, Ruby Volume. What are you doing, Nora? <laughs> Where do you think they're taking us? I'm gonna go with jail. I still can't believe that mm -hmm. fishing pole guy took us out like it was nothing. Welcome to mm -hmm. Atlas. Those were Ironwood's ace operatives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys had a run in with the ace ops? Ironwood must really have a bone to pick with you. They're not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal? The ace ops are the elite of elite military huntsmen and Ironwood's personal attack dogs. So they got you too, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't let myself get caught by them. I'm here because I've been speaking out against Atlas's exploitation of Mantle, and General Ironwood is trying to silence me. You threw a brick at her ship. It's worth it if it gets people talking about our cause. <laughs> our cause? Yes, the fight for better conditions in Mantle, led by the charismatic, <laughs> Talented, lovely Robin Hill and her happy huntresses. They were all top Atlas Academy graduates who could have signed up for the military, but Robin and the huntresses chose to stay in Mantle. She's gunning for a seat on the Kingdom's Council, and when she gets it, she's gonna put an end to Ironwood's tyranny! Happy huntresses. Is that their real name? I love this line. This line with the up. <laughs> Easy to say for a Schnee heiress living comfortably up in Atlas. <sighs> Not anymore. Whoa. Whoa. It's huh? gorgeous up here. Don't let that fool you. Huh? The gorgeous exterior hides the dirty inside. This isn't the police station. It's Atlas Academy. Holy Jesus, it's quite the academy to have. It's interesting that I could tell Ruby's red streaks before because of the lighting. That's an impressive detail. I guess we will be seeing the general. 
For better or worse. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, what do we do? I don't know yet. But we should be careful with what we say. Mm. Of course they put Ruby we'll at the very lead, front. Ruby. Anyone want to give us a hand with these? <laughs> you have ten seconds to take those off before I start hurting you. Huh? <laughs> Please, come in. Okay. It is so good to see all of you. At least they're on the good side. Our reception didn't really convey that. Hmm. I sincerely regret how you were treated by my team. When a rogue airship entered our airspace, it raised some red flags. We assumed the ship was stolen. Stolen? <laughs> okay, yeah, it was stolen. You stole an Atlas airship? What were you thinking? You might have uh -oh. been shut down. How unbelievably irresponsible. <laughs> I'm sorry I worried you. But we did what we had to do. I... <laughs> I suppose I understand. But I cannot believe that you allowed this to happen, Crow. You try stopping these kids when they have their minds set on something. Speaking of which... Mm -hmm. We have some important information for you that's... confidential. Oh, is it about the relics? Or perhaps the Winter Maiden? <laughs> you told them? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did you really think you were the only one who got to work on a new plan after Beacon? Mm. With Ozpin gone, I needed my own team of people I could trust. So yes, mm. I told them. The Aesops, too. Which is why I'm so glad you're here. With this. Until now, I believed it was impossible to truly turn the tide against Salem. Oz has pushed her back, mm. has kept victory out of her claws, but she will keep returning stronger and stronger. Unless we destroy her. Um, how do you destroy the indestroyable? But what about the Atlas relic? You mean the Staff of Creation? It's safe inside the vault. And the Winter Maiden? She is secure. And in stable condition. Stable condition? What, what does She's, that... Uh, not exactly a spring chicken. <clears throat> hmm. I know how this all looks. Recalling yeah. my military, the embargo, I probably don't seem the most trustworthy right now. Then mm. why continue it? The people of Mantle are hurting! I needed to ensure Salem couldn't infiltrate Atlas. And I wanted my military here. Protecting my people, but it's not <clears throat> protecting them. It's making everyone hate you Mm-hmm. It's a price I'm willing to pay Just as you all have been entrusted with the knowledge of Salem's existence. I need you all to trust me. I have a plan um... Ospin believed the best way to fight Salem was to do so in secret whether that was the right choice or not isn't for me to say but we find ourselves in a position of needing, well, a new approach. And what do you suggest? The that stadium? Amity Coliseum, where the yeah. final festival is held? Indeed. When Beacon fell and everyone on Remnant lost contact with one another, what? I knew our current system was outdated. Amity was built to bring the nations together, and it will serve that purpose once again. Hmm. A 
lighting. Isn't it great? Terminal? We're not going to just replace Beacon Tower. <clears throat> Building a new tower on top of Amity Coliseum will re-establish global communications. By launching the tower high into the atmosphere, our scientists believe we can create a sort of satellite out of reach of the Grim and capable of maintaining global communications even if we were to lose another tower. That is actually pretty that cool. That is great. Yeah. James, you don't need the entire <clears throat> military for this. I will for the next part, where I finally tell the people about Salem. Uh, why tell them? That, that's just going to instill more fear of bringing the Grim to them. So that's why you withdrew your troops. To handle the panic that would break out in Atlas. Mm. Yes. Panic is inevitable. And panic brings Grim. But I believe we are ready. Once Atlas has come to grips with the fight ahead, I'll use Amity Tower to spread the message to all a remnant. But everything will fall apart. Grim will be everywhere. You're right. But Atlas what? is willing and prepared to assist. Trying to hide the truth from the world will eventually kill us all. But telling the truth could also potentially kill everyone. Oz spent his whole life, many lives, keeping this secret. I know. But since Beacon, things have changed. Without mm. him here to guide us, all I can do is use my best judgment. <clears throat> What is it? <laughs> Penny's face just doesn't look right. Actually, Oz isn't completely gone. Uh, Oscar here is... is the next Ozpin. Oh. Oz? I'm so glad you're here. I didn't think you... Not quite. He's kind of, um, gone at the mm. moment. That's not normal. How did he... We don't know. Yeah. We were in a train crash, and ever since, well, uh, suddenly Oz wasn't there anymore. It's the worst news yet. Did you learn anything from him about the relics before? He told us the lamp can answer three questions, but all the questions were used up already. No. Right, right. Technically, isn't there still one? Ospin told us that too, once upon a time. Or was it that that question that Ruby asked? Was At least the last we have one? you, Oscar. You're safe here in Atlas. Maybe together we can figure out how to bring Ospin back. Thank you, sir. I mean, uh, General I Ironwood. <laughs> Come on, give it back to Ruby. She needs it. <laughs> She's the one to hold on to it. You're giving it back to me? After what happened with the Aesops, I don't want you to think I'm keeping anything from you. Yeah. Especially something as important as this. For the time being, I think it's safest with the people who brought it here. Um, yeah. Thank you. We must work together if we are to fight Salem and win. Now, if you're all on board. Something doesn't look right about Penny or Ed Winter. Tell in us that how shot. we can help. <laughs> Good. Because getting the Amity Tower ready to launch won't be easy. But first, I think we need to get those weapons of yours up to our standards. <laughs> Remember, this is Atlas. While assisting the military, we will provide you with the best equipment our scientists can devise. What's the... Really? Yeah! <laughs> so that was the second time I got okay. banned. Then there was the third time when... All right, cut the chatter. I'd like to sincerely apologize for the miscommunication down in Mantle. We didn't I intend feel so to. bad, honestly. If we had known who we were, we'd be laughing over a hot meal right now. And I understand uh, you were just following orders. <laughs> I have asked us some questions first. Yeah, questions are for the weak, but we're all on the same team now. Not that I'm happy about it. <laughs> we just wanted to say we're sorry, and that we're looking forward to working with you on our next mission. 
You might be students, but you've been fighting just as hard as we have. If not harder. Exactly why I'm looking forward to seeing what you kids can do. <sighs> not everything's a competition here. Oh, come on! Let me show you around campus! <laughs> Pro. Hmm? Oh, well, we get to find out. I meant it when I said it was good to see you again. Hmm. Uh, yeah. You too. <laughs> oh, quit hug. <laughs> So that way's the cafeteria, and that way's the training rooms. Oh, and over there are the classrooms. <laughs> this all looks great, Penny. But where are we staying? Remember, you're in Atlas now. As the most well-funded school on Remnant, every team at Atlas Academy gets their own room. And if that wasn't enough... So we're staying in the dorms? It'll be just like bacon again! <laughs> Man. <laughs> hey, Alpha. What are you doing in Atlas? Of all places. For the last time. A singular hideout makes us more susceptible to discovery. But what if we're seen? What if we're recognized? We stay mobile. <laughs> Walking around a city with a thousand eyes. <sighs> While cybersecurity has been stepped up in Atlas, as usual, none of the code <laughs> was updated in Mantle. <laughs> He's literally just hacking the world, isn't he? That certainly sounds useful. It should be. Arthur's just a I little hacker. Code after all. Man. Welcome to the world of watchdogs, apparently. <sighs> well, I suppose we all have our talents. Yes, he's got a bell tail. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding in plain sight. <sighs> that that was cool. That is so cool. Tyrion has a robotic tail now. Uh, Arthur is basically uh, a hacker. <laughs> uh, he he's Aiden Pierce from Watch Dogs. <laughs> um, Still they get any new outfits, probably gonna get them in the next episode. Um There was some stuff online that I saw that sort of spoiled a bit for me. But probably gonna find out about those in the next episode of Ruby Volume 7. I didn't take note of the name of the next episode. But I can't wait for it. Oh. Honestly, I'm not the best at giving reactions, but again, some of the points they look a bit goofy. Like, like if there was one shot where Penny and Winter looked like dolls. I'm just like <laughs> the best lighting ever, and also um, a lot of the shots Penny's eyes were. Very odd to me. They were like, they were too big f for her character model. <laughs> and there were so many funny moments in that. It's just like, from, it's just like, <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. But some of the ideas. The idea of the, the, uh, the vital tower, I'll call it, turning it into a satellite, that's an interesting idea, considering, um, 
one big problem is dust loses its ability in space. Which is a very interesting thing to, to include, because how are they going to get the the tower, the, the, the satellite, into space when dust loses its power? And how are they going to keep it up there? And it is basically, this season already has like a watchdog's feel to it in the story sense of like, we got a satellite, we got a hacker, and we got all the good guys against this hacker, and also any of his friends. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that is a bit odd. Anyway, links to my YouTube page, my Twitter page will be down below, along with a link to I mean, if you guys are going to check out. Also, I might put a link to the episode so you guys can go and watch it directly without my commentary, because I don't think I'm the best at doing commentary for videos. Anyways, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. Almost forgot that. And the Mad Scientist, Mad Scientist, out.